So we're back again, and we're ready for our third example. And on our third example, we're going to do a non-90 degree bend. And I'm going to begin by giving you a big, big word of caution. Okay, we said that we bent this 45 degrees. A 45 degree bend looks like this. 45 degrees, open angle. It does not look like this which would be a 45 degree closed angle. And sometimes the FAA will give you problems where they give you one angle or the other and expect you to figure it out. But I haven't done that to you. I'm just warning you about the FAA. They like to trick you. We are going to bend it 45 degrees. It was straight. We bent it 45 degrees. It's a 135 degree closed angle, 45 degree open angle. And that's the part that we're getting ready to calculate. So we can't use these formulas that we've been using over here, we've got to use the non-90 degree formulas. And this will be our first attempt to use those. Once again, we're going to start with what our flat layout would look like. It would just simply be a one inch leg and a two inch leg, giving us a total of three inches. That's if we didn't have to worry about the fact that we're going to have to round this corner. But rounding this corner is what we have to do, and so our actual layout is going to look something like this. It'll be a little bit shorter, and we're going to have two bend tangent lines with a bend allowance in the center. This is going to be one minus our setback. Only one setback because it goes, terminates on the edge. Only one bend on this flat. This flat is also only one bend. It's two inches minus a setback. And once we get that done, sorry about my messy writing, uh, we should be able to figure out what that is. So really, this is the same as our first example, except we have to use this formula, and our numbers are a little bit different. Let's begin by chewing up and spinning out our setback. And our setback's the one where we have to use this goofy tangent of a half of the angle, or we have to look it up on a K-chart. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click uh, do it with my calculator. Setback equals tangent of one half. We bend it 45 degrees, so one half of 45 is actually 22 and a half. Tangent of 22.5, and make sure your calculator is in degree mode if you choose to follow me on this one. Now I'll show you the other thing in just a minute. Okay, material thickness plus bend radius. So the first thing I want to do is solve out for what is that tangent of 22.5. So I hit the tangent button, 22.5, enter, and it gives me 0 0.414. 0 0.414. So my setback equals 0.414 times my material thickness of 0 0.040 plus my bend radius of 0.125. Now, let's go ahead and simplify that out. That is 0.0, I'm sorry, 0.165. And let's go ahead and compare this if we look up the K chart. My K I calculated was 0.414. So if we pull our table and then you'll move across, to the 45 degrees, and you'll look it up, and yes, the K is the same if we looked it up or if we calculated it, so we can use our 0.414 times 0.165 to get our setback answer. 0.414 times 0.165 gives us a setback of 0.0683. Setback equals 0 0.0683. Close enough for the likes of me. Now, we're ready to calculate our bend allowance. And our bend allowance is equal to 0 0.0078 times our material thickness, which is 0 0.040. And then we have to hit plus, and I'm going to have to move on to the next line because we don't have enough room, 0 
times our bend radius, which is 0.125, and we're going to close parentheses, times the number of degrees. But our number of degrees, you'll recall, was 45, so let's make that simpler, times 45. Okay, bend allowance equals, this is going to be a very tiny amount because we're multiplying two small numbers, 0.0078 times 0 0.04 gives me a, wow, 0 0.000312. 0.000312 plus, and here's my next term, my next term is 0 0.0143 times 0.125, and that's another little bitty term, but it's not quite as little, 0 0.00179, 0 0.00179. All of that times 45. So we need to add these two, and I get 0 0.000312 plus 0 0.00179 equals a total of 0 0.00210. 0 0.00210. 0 0.00210. That's this first term times. 45, which is equal to 0 0.0946. 0 0.0946 is my bend allowance. Bend allowance equals 0 0.0946. Nine, four, six, and now I have the numbers I need to begin substituting into this mess. So we clear us some room, and we take one minus our setback, which is point zero six eight three. One minus point zero six eight three, and our first number is 0.932, okay, 0.932. Our bend allowance is just equal to 0 0.09, let's round that to 0 0.095 because we're not going to measure any closer than that anyhow, and this becomes 1.932, no need for me to do all that math over again, it's just one longer than the other one is. When I add all of these numbers together, I'm going to get the total amount that I get across here. 0.9317 plus 0 0.095 plus uh, 1.9317 gives me a total of 2.96. Rounding to 3... Uh, Places. Oh, let's keep one more place. 2.958. 2.958. And notice that's a little less than our 3. Now, we didn't make a very big angle, so it's just a little bit less. But this gives us the total distance that we would need. And now, it would be mark it over onto our piece of sheet metal. And I'm just going to simulate doing that over here because we don't have very much room. I'm going to use my very precise caliper to measure 0.932 and make my first bend tangent line. Of course, I measured on both sides to make it perfectly parallel. 0 0.095 is right about here. It goes across here. 0 0.095, and this is one, my 1.932. Okay, this is my BTL, my other BTL, and this is my cut line where I cut everything. Of course, my blank continued on this way before I cut it off. And now we need to add our sight line in. How far is our sight line away from a bend tangent line? It is always, always one bend radius. Okay, where's my bend radius? 0.125, an eighth of an inch of bend radius. My distance between these lines is 0 0.0946. That is not very far. 
Okay, in fact, my sight line extends beyond my bend tangent line. And when I add my sight line in, 0.946, I'm going to extend just beyond it. And my sight line actually falls outside of the middle. Now, a lot of people think the sight line is just between these two. It is not. Um, and on a small bend like this one, it falls outside of this. Now, this is the bend tangent line I'm going to stick under the brake. So I'm going to put my X on there. This would go right underneath the brake right here. Okay, but when I bend my entire piece, my sight line is clear back out here. And so for a shallow angle, my sight line falls outside of the range of where I'm going. Of course, we can draw that a lot more precisely, but I think you've seen what we need to see, and let's move on to the next example. So let's calculate what each of these terms is. First of all, we need our point 0.0078 plus our point 0 0.040, and that's going to be bend allowance equals parentheses point 0 0.0478. Sorry about my bad writing. Point 0 0.0478 plus... No, nope, that's not right. I added, didn't I? Okay, sorry about not just my bad writing, it's also my bad math. I can probably trim that spot and start this over again, get rid of my mistakes. Wish the life was that easy. 